Hello everyone, I'm Guy Lex Lego, and today I'll be reviewing for you guys uh, Brickyo Bricks uh, B95 Headhunter, a uh, uh, different name for a Z95 Headhunter, made out of one uh, uh, Republic Fire Tank set that came out in 2022. Now, before I get too far into this, this is a Patreon exclusive, so if you do want to build this, go check out Brickyo Bricks uh, Patreon, and I mean, I mean, I'm sure you can find it on any one of his videos, so yeah. And just before I get into it, I will start off with the side build quick. And basically what the side build is, is a maintenance speeder that I think it kind of looks stupid. And there is supposed to be another one of these, though I seem to have lost it. So just pretend there's another one of these in there. So you basically just have a seat for a minifigure. You have handlebars for them to hold on to. Then this is like a maintenance thing where they can do stuff on. But I think it's just a little stupid. And I'm, I'm going to make a modification later in this video and use some parts for these and from this. And I think the parts are just better used. But now into a Brickle Over X Z95 Headhunter. So first off, we'll start at the front. You got that uh, classic Z95 uh, shape right here, and it looks pretty. It looks pretty cool. Then you got good use of these arch bricks, and then I think, whew, I'm running out of breath. Then I think it just makes a very good uh, just look overall. Then you got uh, this area here, and the one bad thing about this, I'd say, is these Technic bricks, and he does try to cover them up a little bit by using uh, these uh, using these plates, and then it covers it up a little bit, makes it look a little bit better. And then you come up to the cockpit here, and this is the only extra piece you're gonna need. Uh, I got this piece from Boba Fett's Slave One, which I believe is still in production, and you can buy like Target or stuff. And I got mine twenty percent off, so I mean, do what you need to do to get this. I mean, it's also in the uh, Ghost and stuff, and I'm losing track and everything. But yeah, so the biggest problem with this, I'd say, is that it's a little gappy right here. Like it's very gappy, and there's ways to solve this. And, I, and I, yeah, as I said, modification later, I will show you how to do this. Then you got the engines here, and the biggest problem with these are, like, so I go to carry it, like, right here in front of behind, and and rest, and then boom. Like, so I'll show you the bottom. Uh, these stick out really, uh, really far out, and then there's not really anything supporting them besides the uh, bracket piece that's just right there. So that, I'd say that is probably the biggest problem with the set, and this build is just that these engines fall off a lot. But, yeah, then you got some good detail back here. I mean, I'm using some sticker pieces, so it might look a little better or worse, depending on how you view it. But, yeah, and then you open this up. This is a storage uh, compartment, and I had his guns in there, the guy I'm using. And I sh I'm, I'm, they don't usually fall back, but I guess they could over time. And it's not big enough to fit in the figure, but just use for gun swords and stuff for this guy or whoever pal you're using. And then right here are the wings, and uh, they look very good. I would say the biggest down tractor for them is that he had to use a two by, he has to use two by two back kicks instead of using one by two. So if you're gonna modify this with pieces outside of the set, my biggest recommendation to you would be um, uh, gain some uh, bracket pieces, but they don't have the second uh, row of studs down here. They only have the first row. They just completely remove this. So I think it just make the wings look a lot better. And th that's just a shame what the sets have. There's no, you know, no saying that this is a bad design for part. But, yeah. And then you just got the rest of the wing detail. I like this part here, just the way it sculpts out and everything. You got the slope here. Then you got these wings here. I think the sculpting, anyway, is actually really cool. The way it bows in and out and then just in and everything. Then right here have the guns. They look, they are really simple, but I think they look really good. The way they jet out and everything. And, sorry about that. But, yeah. So, next, I'll get on to the modifications. And these are some of the modifications I would make this Z95 he Headhunter, or B19, whatever it's called. So first off, I, what I did was this cockpit here, I uh, made it less gappy right here. So I took these uh, one by 2 rail pieces that were under here, and then these triangle pieces that were right here, and then it just creates a much smoother look right here, and it's much less gappy. And then from the side build, uh, I just took some of those wedge plates and put them right there, just to finish it out a little bit, and then... There are also a bunch of plates left on the side build, so I just filled, up, filled those out a little bit to give it more just completeness. And then the biggest thing, the thing I originally started out with was uh, this 1x6 uh, white plate there. There was one used on the side build, and then there was one extra. And if you just take those and you just put them uh, right there, there is just like you completely eliminate the gap that's right there. And I just feel like this creates a much better looking Starfighter. I mean, you got I, th I feel like you got better contours right here and stuff, and then just... I think it just makes the whole thing look a lot better and a lot sleeker and Aussie. It's a bit more sturdy because I, I mean, I don't know how I do. Um, but yeah, I just think it makes it a lot more sturdy. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't care if you like or subscribe in the comments. Leave any builds you guys might want me to do in the future. And yeah, bye.